Hello everyone, welcome to Spec eLearn, the online learning channel dedicated to chemical engineers. How to read process flow diagram? In this video course, you will learn what is PFD, why is it important and how it is generated, what are the elements of PFD and how to read PFD. Please subscribe to the channel. By subscribing, you will motivate us to produce more knowledgeable video content for you. So please subscribe now before you forget. An important document generated by process design and used by every chemical engineer in process plants at the start of their career is process flow diagrams. You have started your career as a chemical engineer or a process engineer in a refinery, petrochemical or process plant. How will you understand the chemical process the plant is using to produce their products? What document do you study to understand the process? A typical chemical process converts one or more of the raw materials into finished products. So the process flow sheet consists of reactor, a train of separation equipments, fluid conveying equipments, heat exchanger and storage vessels interconnected by piping. The fluid streams such as raw material finished products and utilities that support the conversion process flow in and out of the process equipment. These informations can be provided in the form of a simple flow sheet. This document is not sufficient for a chemical engineer. The chemical engineer need a higher level document to understand the process. The two process documents every chemical engineer must be familiar with in any chemical plant are process flow diagram and piping and instrumentation diagram. Process flow diagram is different from a simple flow sheet. Flow sheeting is the first step in the development of process design of a chemical process. The generation of the process drawings such as process flow diagram and piping and instrumentation diagram begins when the flow sheeting of a chemical process is complete. Process flow diagram PFD serves as a document to display and explain the basic material and the energy balance in the process. It basically illustrates the principal steps fluid streams and the equipment used to bring about a unit operations or unit process together with a table detailing main fluid streams, their composition and properties. Details of process control philosophy and piping design requirements are not included in the process flow diagram. Process flow diagram acts as a precursor to generation of piping and instrumentation diagram PID. The PFD contains the bulk of the chemical engineering data necessary for design of a chemical process. What information are provided in the PFD? The contents of the PFD include first the equipment. All the major piece of equipment in the process with their description of the equipment is provided. An equipment number and an equipment identification name will be assigned to every equipment in the process. The equipment may be a reactor or a distillation column or a pump or a heat exchanger. 
since there could be more than one such equipment in a process, they are assigned a unique identification number so that throughout the process, this unique number can be used to track the specific equipment easily. Next, the PFD include the process streams. All process streams will be shown and identified by a number. A description of the process conditions such as pressure and temperature of each stream will be displayed in the PFD. Next, the utility streams. All utility streams such as cooling water, nitrogen, chilled water, stream etc. supply to the major equipment that provides a process function will be shown. These utilities are not assigned any stream identification in the PFD. The next important item included in the PFD is basic control loops. You need to understand how the process is controlled. Basic control loops illustrating the control strategy used to operate the process during operation will be shown. How many PFD should a process have? A simple process can be represented in a single PFD. But a large chemical plant needs several connected PFDs to show the entire process with the relevant details. The detailed material balance tabulation will be separate from the PFD. The mass balance tabulation will include composition of each component in mass flow in addition to stream information as mentioned above. This figure illustrates a typical PFD of a fixed bed olefin dryer in a petrochemical plant. The dryer unit is used for drying or dehydration of wet olefin to produce dry olefin with a dew point of minus 100 degrees centigrade. The dryer uses molecular sieve adsorbent material to adsorb the water from the wet olefin. The PFD of the dryer unit has all the technical information we discussed above. And let us understand how to read the PFD with this example. The wet olefin is coming from outside this unit and is identified with the drawing number. The wet olefin is assigned a stream number 1075. The stream 1075 flows to the dryer at process conditions of 38 degrees centigrade and 40 bar G. This process condition defines the moisture load of the olefin stream because it is wet saturated. The dry olefin that flows out of the dryer is identified with stream number 2010. This stream 2010 is split into two streams 2011 and 2012 and sent to two separate reactors. The link to the reactor unit drawing is provided here. The dry performance is monitored by an online analyzer for measuring the water content. The dryer exit stream passes through an after filter identified by equipment number 2FT110 to separate any solid particles that may be escaping from the dryer bed. The dryer has a preset absorption time after which it has to be regenerated. Nitrogen is used for regeneration. Nitrogen is first heated in a heater identified by 2E110 before it is admitted into the dryer. Now you have to control the flow rate and temperature of nitrogen used for regeneration. The control scheme is provided for the same. 
to regulate the nitrogen flow, a control wall is provided. To control the temperature, a steam flow control valve is provided in the heater. We have discussed three equipment in the PFT so far. They are 2FF110, 2FD110 and the regeneration heater 2E110. The equipment data is explained separately later. In the PFD we discussed just now, you learned that every process fluid entering and leaving a process equipment is identified with a stream number. What information you get from the stream number? Take a look at the table presented here. Every stream number is provided with three type of design information. Every operation or process engineer must know about the process he is working with. What are they? One, the phase of the stream, whether it is a liquid phase or a gas phase or a solid phase. Two, what are the MOSFETs of the individual components of the stream and the total MOSFET of the stream. Three, the stream operating conditions and some thermodynamic properties such as density and viscosity. For example, take the stream number 1025. It is a liquid phase olefin. The total mass flow rate of 68,347 kg per hour consisting of ethane, propylene and propane at pressure and temperature of 39.5 bar and 38.2 degree centigrade. Thus the table provides material balance around the olefin dryer. All useful information a chemical engineer needs to know about the dryer unit he is working with. The equipment data is provided in the PFD in figure 1 we discussed earlier. For better visibility, I present the equipment data separately for Wolfin dryer in this figure. The data are the inner diameter and length, pressure and temperature during operation and regeneration, and material of construction. Likewise, this figure provides the equipment data for the after filter and the regenerating heater. This data will be used for developing the detailed design. Elements of PFD Having understood how to read a PFD, let us have a look at some of the important elements of PFD. The basic information provided by PFD can be categorized into one of the following elements. Process topology, stream information, equipment information. What is process topology? Process topology element deals with process adapted for manufacture of a product from a feed stream. It illustrates the location of the major piece of equipment and the process streams that connect the equipment. The location and interaction between the equipment and the process streams are referred to as process topology. Stream information. Stream information relates to the information or data provided for the process and utility streams that flow in and out of the process equipment. Go back to table 1 to see the stream information. Equipment information presents the data required to estimate the cost of equipment. It provides a basis for detailed design of the equipment. For instance, a pump will need data such as flow, 
discharge pressure, temperature, total heat and drive shaft power as well as material of construction to get an estimate of the cost. A fixed bed dryer will need dimensions such as inner diameter and vertical height of bed, pressure drop during operation and regeneration, temperature difference during operation and regeneration and material of construction to get an estimate of cost. Equipment information enables the process engineer to prepare equipment summary with relevant process data provided for each piece of major equipment in the process. A PFD is generated when all the three elements of the PFD are combined. Please subscribe to our channel and get updates on the upcoming courses by pressing the subscribe button. It will motivate us to produce free knowledge rich video content for you. With this we have come to the end of the presentation. Please give your comments if any about this course after you finished viewing this video. Share with your friends and colleagues to reach out to large number of career-oriented professional students. Thank you for watching.